Welcome to the enchanting world of our story, where the Halloween festival has reached its peak. The village is alive with colors and sounds, a vibrant tapestry that wraps around the cobblestone streets. Lanterns flicker in the thickening fog, casting ghostly shadows that dance to the rhythm of distant drums. The air is electric, filled with anticipation and the sweet scent of spiced cider. Yet, beneath the festive surface, a tension simmers, as if the very spirits of the past are holding their breath, waiting for the moment to exhale. Join us as we delve into this captivating tale, where the past and present collide in a dance of shadows and light. In the heart of the village square, a young woman named Alara stands, her heart pounding in sync with the distant drums of celebration. The air is thick with anticipation, and the scent of spiced cider lingers. Around her, the townsfolk gather, their faces a mix of curiosity and skepticism. The mayor, a stout figure with a furrowed brow, stands at the forefront, his presence looming like a storm cloud. But beside Alara, the ethereal form of Miriam shimmers, a beacon of encouragement. Miriam, an elderly spirit with long, flowing hair, whispers secrets of the past that only Alara can hear. You must speak the truth, Alara, Miriam urges, her voice a gentle breeze in the chaos. With a deep breath, Alara steps forward, clutching an artifact that pulses with warmth. Listen to me. Alara's voice cuts through the laughter and music, silencing the crowd. The stories of our past are not mere whispers, they are the foundation of who we are. As she speaks, the fog thickens, swirling around her like a living entity. The lanterns flicker violently, and the air crackles with energy. Suddenly, spirits begin to manifest, their forms shimmering into view, each one a testament to the injustices of the past. The villagers gasp, eyes wide with shock and awe as the spectral figures float among them, their expressions a mix of sorrow and longing. The mayor's resolve begins to waver, his stern facade cracking as he witnesses the undeniable presence of the spirits. Elara's heart races, she can feel the weight of history pressing down on them all. We must confront our past, not hide from it, she implores, her voice rising above the cacophony of emotions. Only then can we heal. In that moment, the village square transforms into a sacred space, a bridge between the living and the dead. The townsfolk, once resistant, begin to lower their defenses, their eyes reflecting the flickering light of the lanterns and the shimmering forms of the spirits. Elara feels a surge of hope, perhaps, just perhaps, they are ready to listen. As the festival continues around them, the atmosphere shifts, charged with a newfound understanding. The fog, once a symbol of uncertainty, now feels like a protective shroud, enveloping them in a cocoon of shared history. Elara stands tall, her bond with Miriam stronger than ever, ready to guide the villagers through the reckoning that awaits them. The chapter of their lives is about to be rewritten, and Alara is determined to ensure that the voices of the past will finally be heard. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Halloween festival, where the past and present have intertwined in a dance of shadows and light. The village, alive with colors and sounds, has become a place of transformation and healing. As the lanterns flicker in the fog and the drums continue to beat, we leave Alara and the villagers on the brink of a new chapter. Stay tuned for more stories from Storyteller, where every tale is a bridge between worlds, connecting us to the mysteries of the past and the possibilities of the future.